Hey everyone, welcome on in. Today we're going to be jumping into the new Goddles update in Lodlnaut, which is available now on Nintendo Switch and Steam. You heard that right, that Lodlnaut is now available on Switch as well. And this new update will be rolling out over there as well as on Steam. So we hope you enjoy it very much, but it's going to be my first time diving into it. I always say diving into it, I've realised. <laughs> diving into it today to show you some of the new features that you are going to be able to access. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm going to be loading up my seven hour save file. I have done a chunk of stuff in this game. There's lots of new stuff for us to do here. This is the, the Goddles update. So we had the Lodopedia update in the last couple of months, which gave us this little tab here in this menu. And you can see there's a lot of them grayed out because you do have to swim up to the Loddles and interact with them to get them to be in here. So even if you've unlocked the Loddle, you need to actually go and interact with them for them to appear in your Loddlepedia. So these are the ones that I have managed to unlock at the moment. I have a lot of Jumbo Loddles. <laughs> I'm obsessed with the Jumbo Loddles. I have so many of them, it's insane. But then we also had, you can see on the map here, that there's the population. I've got 9 out of 15 Loddles in the Grimy Gulf. There's now Loddle Diversity, which is where you have different kinds of Loddles living in that biome. So like, you know, Jumbo Loddles, Siren Loddles, Bunny Loddles, having a combination of different species of Loddle in one biome increases the diversity rating and also tells you what the native fruit is, everything like that. But what we're going to be doing today is there are now these giant Loddles called Goddled. God Goddled. Goddles. Very aptly named, may I say. And we're going to be just going to see if we can find one of them right now. So I've got my bestie Wiggle with me. I just, I want someone with me at all times. Like, I never get the Loddles to follow me around, and I thought I'm going to start doing that. A oh, quick thing that we did have in the last update, uh, the your, this is your overdrive. So if you swim through these plants, you see the bar in the bottom right corner went from green to yellow, which gives us a little bit of a boost with our... There we go. When we want to boost our speed like that, it gives us a little bit of an extended time. On that and then you just wait for these to open so give it like another 10 seconds they'll open up again and you can swim straight through again get more of a boost if you can find a trail of them like that that's pretty useful there are so many of them around and it's like so much easier to get around faster as well now in Loddle Nort. and let's go and see if we can find the Goddle cave I believe it's around here somewhere. So there's quite a lot of new things in this update. There's new Loddle variants. So there's now shiny variants of Loddles, which you can expect would be have like a metallic sheen to them. There is radiant Loddles that have like kind of a subtle glow to them and they're very vibrant colored. And then there's also ghostly Loddles that are very pale. Oh wait, what's this? Here we go. I think this might be it. I think this might be it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see if we can find our first god all. There we go. Let's see if we can head in. I'm excited. Let's see if we can find any of these Loddle variants as well. Because there's like lost Loddles swimming around waiting for you to take them home. Here we go. Here we go. Here's a Loddle. Hi. Bessie. Oh my gosh. It's a Radiant. This is a Radiant Loddle. So the new variants I was just talking about, this is one of them. Unfortunately, they're covered in goop at the moment and I haven't got one of my recharge rings on me. I'm so sorry, Radiant Loddle. I have no idea what to call you. You're so shiny. Look at you. Little glowy baby and so stinking cute. Let's get them to follow us in. Lots of stuff for us to clean up. It goes even further in to, to our new area. And this is the Goddle Grotto. Let's take a minute to appreciate that music. I can see one of them. Oh my goodness, they are giant. Just take a second to appreciate this beautiful music. I love like the luminescence in here. It's so pretty. Look at this. This has got to be one of my favorite areas in this game already. Look, oh my gosh, there's all three. 
So we've got the green one on the left, the blue purple one at the back, and then the pink one on the right. If you can see them, oh my gosh, they are huge. They are absolutely huge. So these are our little goddles. They each have different abilities as well, actually. And there's a fruit in here. I know, I know, I know. It's all gooped. It's all gooped. Um, that they do, they do have different abilities. And there's a new fruit in here that you can actually get hold of called Crystal Crisps. So we're gonna see if we can get some of those. You can clean this area as well. Make it a little bit of a nicer home for them. Let's do that. I'm just gonna grab these bits while I'm here. I don't want them living in a toxic environment, you know? We need to clean some of this. What is that? These are so pretty. I know, babies, you're getting all gooped up. I probably shouldn't have brought you with me. Oh, 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 the crystal crisps. Oh my gosh, so first crystal crisp. This is so pretty. Right, let's get some more. Can we get more crystal crisps? We're cleaning this one? Oh no! Oh, the loddles are, the loddles are recontaminating it. Okay, quickly, go and grab it. Go grab it. There we go. If you've got lot, if you've got the goop on a lot all this purple stuff all over them, that's what we're trying to clean in the ocean is all of this goop. If there's loddles covered in goop, um, then they can recontaminate things that you have cleaned before. So it's not a good idea to have gooped loddles around because they will regoop things. But I decided to bring them with me. <laughs> Let's go meet one of the goddles. Oh look, they, even the way they span around then was so pretty. What? So this one's this one's the one in the middle. Oh my god, look at the size of them compared to me. Oh my god all. I'm gonna start using that from now on. Oh no! Oh no no no! Oh no, my oxygen! I was so excited! Okay, 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 okay. We we need to be RB. Oh, how do we get out now? <laughs> Where's the entrance? This tunnel here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see if we can find find somewhere to get some oxygen. And then we will head straight back in and say hello to the goddles. So we can see their new abilities. So the one we were just talking to, like the one in the middle, the blue one. So that one will make baby loddles, like they all give baby loddles maximum happiness. And then they each have like their own different kind of ability. Right, oh, we're not gonna find a recharge ring, are we? Oh no. Why don't I have a recharge ring? Why didn't I think of this? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's get this boost. Let's get this boost. I don't think I actually have anything in here. There's some plants that you can get oxygen from. So we've got those. I'm gonna head back to the home cove. Because I actually do have some things to show you here as well. So let's decontaminate these babies and I think I'll leave them here. Just so they don't re stuff for me. There we go. I'm trying to think of a name now for this Radiant Loddle. Just so we know, I'm just gonna call you. I'm gonna call you Radiant for now. So we're gonna leave them here. So Wiggle, I'm gonna leave you here as well. I want you to stay here, please. And there is actually, oh, some of them are so sad. Is this Astro? Oh my God, Astro's looking kind of sad. I need to take them to a biome, but I'm gonna leave them here for now. How's that inventory looking? Pretty crispy, pretty crispy. Because we do actually have, you can now have the inventory capacity module, which increases your inventory slots to by another five spaces. So add five additional item slots to your inventory. More room to stash your trash. So you can grab one of those now. And there's also the global pollution tracker, which enables global pollution tracking in the world map tab. Hmm. Yeah, this scrubber radius module, uh, module, I can never say it. I need to unlock that as well. Which one do we want? Do we want the increased inventory? I'm gonna go for the global pollution tracker. Let's grab this. 
And then we'll head on back to the Goddles. You can now track global pollution in the world map tab. Wrong button. Cool. Awesome. <gasps> pollution resistance, contaminants. Oh my gosh, so you can actually see now how much litter there is, how much goop there is, how much microplastics there is in the biome. Pollution resistance of each, okay, of each place. They're all getting a bit dirty now. They were, a lot of these, four of these, I think, were 100% and I've kind of let them get a little bit goopy recently. So there's one piece of litter here. Seven here. Gosh, we need to get back there. Oh, I've got like three star diversity in a uh, grimy golf. That's good. That's good. That's good. Love that for us. And we have the new crystal crisp as well, actually. Oh, and for those of you who didn't know about the cooking module, you can use this to cook tasty little treats for your loddles. So his kiwi lime pie. This is one of my favorites. Rainbow kelp pie. I mean, look at that. Don't these just look so tasty? I would genuinely eat one of these in real life. The kelp coffee drop. Hello? Looks so good. And now there is a crispy cookie that uses the crystal crisps that we found in the goddle biome. In the goddle grotto. So we've got crystal crisps, lily bananas and star kelp to make a crispy cookie, a sugary snack with a satisfying crunch. So there is a new food available as well. So let's head on back to them. So we found the Radiant Loddle. We're also going to need to see if we can... Let's see if I can afford a, um, a recharge ring. I think I had one and I've put it down somewhere and I have absolutely no idea where I put it. Okay. Structures. Recharge ring. Here we go. Let's just make another one. I always get to put it back in my inventory because you can just pop it back in your inventory once you've used it and then you'll always have a recharge ring with you unless you put it down and forget about it like I did but oh I keep wrong way we need to fast travel first because I want to go as fast as we can back to the grotto look at my babies they're so sad don't do this to me I'm sorry babies I will give you your own home very very soon because you can actually oh there's also let me just tell you real quick uh, while my brain's on it. There's, you can garden as well now in Lodonort. So these are the little gardening spots. These little dark glistening spots here. And I do have a seedling already in my inventory. So these are 2B seedlings. So you get these when you clean plants. So I was cleaning some of the plants that give you 2B melons. So I now have a 2B seedling. So if we pop that in our inventory plant the seedling here give that a couple minutes so if we give that around two minutes it'll grow and then if we give it like another two minutes it will grow that fruit so you can grow your own fruit you can also uproot the seedling if you've accidentally put the wrong one down which is amazing to me look at kind of the jumbo loddle i've got so many jumbo loddles it's insane i love these little babies I love them so much. Oh, and here we go. So we can, we can, oh, did I plant them all? Oh, I thought I had three. I've planted the two I had. Okay, cool. Right, let's head back to the grotto. I need to focus, focus. Let's come back for them. Give them two minutes. This is so exciting. Right, we're gonna head back into Goddle Grotto. Alone at this time. So the goddle on the left has the pollinating ability um, and the one in the middle, which I think the one on the left, we'll see when I get back in, but the one in the middle was blue, the one on the right was pink, the one on the left was green, and the one in the middle will give you your baby loddles maximum happiness. Maximum, not maximum, maximum happiness. So all of the goddles give your baby loddles maximum happiness. And then the one on the left has the pollinating ability. The one in the middle has the purifying ability. And guess what it does? Guess what it does? Have a guess. It refills your oxygen. <laughs> I knew that. I remembered that. 
I didn't panic and rush back to my home cove to get oxygen when there's a god all right here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god all. And then the one on the right has the energizing ability, so it'll give you the the boost bar in the bottom right corner that you cannot see because I am covering it. I've just realized, like what I was saying earlier, the bar turns from green to yellow. You can't see it, but it's in the bottom right corner. Let me just deploy this. So I have oxygen ring in here anyway. Watch me forget it again. Watch me forget it again. Um, but it takes your overdrive, which is the little plants that I told you you could swim through to get a boost um, to your speed. It will increase that by four times. So which is a pretty cool one. Let's go say hello to these babies. I want to visit the pink one. Pink's my favorite color in like all the world. All the world. Hi. They're so pretty. <laughs> that is the cutest thing ever. Look at the size of you. Look at the size of you. Put your gun away when you are facing a goddle. How dare you keep that gun out. <laughs> that is so cool. I love that. They are so cute. Let's go say hello to the other ones. I'm glad there's a giant pink one. I'm glad there's my favorite color of a goddle. Ooh. Oh, see, my oxygen refilled. You can't see, actually. It's in the bottom right corner. But my oxygen is now back up at full because of the pulse ability that they just did. So you could have refilled my oxygen five minutes ago when I panicked and went racing back to the home cove, couldn't you? Yes, you could. Yes, you could. They're so stinking cute. I love them. I love them. They're adorable. Okay. Let's go over and see... The last one. I love that one's style, like the um, the little ears. Hi, hiya, hiya. Kind of reminds me of like a baby's bonnet. <laughs> I don't know if that's really weird to say, but it just reminds me so much of a little baby's bonnet. And then, oh, trash. A will clean up for you, goddles. Give you a nice home. Hello. Jeez, hi. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi. Wow. So pretty. Let me just let me just double check. So the green one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Each lot each god all. Uh seems to be one of the new yeah, the variants. So we've got radiant. As green, ghostly, as the blue purple, like pale features. And then the pink as like a shiny, sort of metallic sheen to them. There you go. Hiya! Oh my gosh, it's, it's so intimidating. <laughs> That's really intimidating. <laughs> oh gosh. I just want to stay in here forever. They're absolutely precious. We need to go and see if we can see the other... The other lost... Goddles. Let's dismantle this. I can take it with me now. Not the Goddles, sorry. The other Loddles. So the little Loddle that I found that was the Radiant one. We should go and see if we can find the Pale one. And the Shiny one. So let's go. We can also check on our plants as well. The gardening that we did. But let me just quickly show you, for anyone who doesn't know about the different weapons that you've got. So you've got the bubble gun, which is default. So you're cleaning up the ocean, getting rid of the goop, trying to give the goddles a nice home. The loddles and the goddles a nice home. And then you've got this. This is the puddle scrubber to clean up bits on the floor like this. I can never get tired of this. Never get tired of this. 
and then the scrap vac, which is for microplastics. But we haven't seen any microplastics yet at this point. Did I pick up my recharge ring? Yes, I did, because I know what I'm like. Right, let's go and see now if we can find these other two variants. Okay, so here behind this microplastic, so I told you earlier about you can use the scrap vac to clean microplastics. I need to empty my scrap vac. It's currently full on microplastics, so you can do that back at the home cove. Uh, but if we go through the microplastics, there is a cave entrance for another one of the uh, lost loddles. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's the shiny one and it's pink. It's like baby goddles. Oh my gosh. So we've got the little shiny one now, this baby little pink one, the green one I just found with me on my way here. It was a stray loddle that I apparently hadn't picked up before. Let's give it a clean. <gasps> oh my gosh, the passion fig. That's like one of my favorites. Favorites in this game. Of the items that you can grab. Oh, my inventory is full. What a surprise. <gasps> Let's go clean this baby up. So if I use my recharge ring again, we can swim through it to clean the loddle that I just got. And I also need oxygen. So that's very, very useful. That's so where you're ready to get to the top, and then we've got one more lost loddle to go and find. There you go. That'd be better. Yeah. Yeah. So you are, I'm going to name you Shiny as the shiny variant. There we go. Oh no, wrong one. <laughs> okay, randomize for you, Sandy. And you're shiny. Yes, you're shiny. And you're sandy. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And then we have to find the last cave with the last loddle in it. So this was around southeast of Tangle Bay. So this is where that cave was. And now we need to go and find the last cave, which I believe is near Ripple Reef. So let's head back to our spaceship. Oh, I always go the wrong way. The spaceship is this way. <laughs> I'm an absolute nightmare when it comes to directions in games. I have no sense of direction at all. Oh, we can use these. So you can see there's some along the wall. This one down there once I've cleaned them. Like the boost pad things like that. There you go. Okay, it's this way. I'm so glad all of these areas are 100% cleaned because you can tra you can fast travel to areas you've 100% cleaned even when they're not 100% clean in the future. You can see Ripple Reef is now 88% because I haven't come back in a while. Oopsie. Oh, some of the loddles have got gooped up again. Oh no, that's so sad. Oh my goodness, Shiny's hungry. Oh no, we need to clean in here. Oh, I didn't pick up my recharge ring. <laughs> but the good thing about being here is when you clean these, they produce oxygen bubbles that you can also use. So now my oxygen is full again. And also even these little baby oxygen bubbles over here these tiny little ones, if you swim through them, they raise your, um, they raise your oxygen. Really small, like, minute amounts, but if you swim through enough of the bubbles, then you'll get it back up to full. Oh gosh, I really do need to clean here. Oh no, they're all contaminated. I'm a bad loddle mother. I am such a bad loddle mother. Right, you're all coming with me. Right, really quickly. Yeah, come with me. Anyone who's goopy? Yeah. I've got like, oh. How many have I got following me? Oh, I've got three. I didn't even name this one. Oh gosh. 
My poor little children, look at them. <gasps> Got four of them following me now. Oh wait, is this lemonade? <laughs> lemonade, you're all goopy too. My poor little baby, come with me. We're gonna have our own little army. Blooper. Ah, I got the maximum amount I can have with me. I'm so sorry, Blooper, but they're all goopy. Let's take them back to Home Cove. And then go and find the last, the last cave. We can try and give them all a clean. Come here. Just let them all stay in my Home Cove forever, that's also... Yeah! <laughs> That's also an idea. Look at them. Look at my little army. My little sweetie babies. Okay, stay here. And... Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. We've got anyone left? Lemonade. Stay here. Right, you all chill. Look how upset everyone else is. Like Astro, oh my gosh. Jib, they're all so upset. If I give them this little doddle toy, maybe they'll play with that and feel a little bit happier. There we go. My little kiddos. Well, I guess cheered them up a little bit. Yeah, Astro. Wanna play with the toy? So you can craft toys for your loddles. This is the Jingle Shells. That was an update that came out last year. Um, and you've also, there's also the Loddle Buddy, the Kelp Chew, the Bouncy Ball, the Rope Toy. For you to make for your loddles to play with. Oh, we can make one of these. <gasps> let's cook them. Let's cook them. Let's cook them. Let's make some really cookies. The crispy cookies. Heck yeah, we've got some of those now. What if I, where are my new Loddle variant babies? Shiny, would you like a cookie? I knew you were hungry. That looks so good. The eating animation is so cute. They're probably still hungry, but I'm going to give the other one to Radiant. It's also probably really hungry. There we go. Let's see what the crispy cookie does. Look at these little babies. You can see them like slowly starting to change and have grown new features already, which is always exciting. And then, oh gosh. Everything's full, isn't it? Goodness me, put you away, put you away. I will show you how the recycle bots work. For those of you who don't know, so those are the containers, the bottles. So this is our little recycling station where you get materials out for putting recycling materials in. So we've got a green bottle here. Like each machine accepts different kinds of things. This one's like fruit. And then this one is the red cans. If you've got like a stack and you want to toss them all into the machine, you can just open your inventory and press toss all, which just puts the whole stack in rather than having to sit and spam like I'm kind of doing, but I find it kind of fun. Because I am playing with a PlayStation controller on, on Steam. So it's kind of fun to just be like click, 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 with the trigger. Passion figs. Let's keep those. The gup cups. Let's recycle those. Plastic portal. And we've got this soda bottle here. And then kind of put everything else away. Um, sort my inventory out of it. I can't believe I left my recharger ring behind. I can. Because it's, because it's me. But I also can't. Right, let's head back to Ripple Reef. And see if we can find this final cave. 
It's one of the best music I've heard in a game. Hands down, I'm not gonna lie. Right, let's... Let's go... This way. From Ripple Reef. Watch me not be able to find this thing. <laughs> Gosh. I thought I spotted it then. Because there's still so much goop around. Make sure you are cleaning up the ocean. I feel like I've been neglecting that to showcase things to you. But it is very important that you clean up the ocean. There we go, some coral pears. Aha! Here's the cave. Oh wait. These ones give you oxygen bubbles. So let me just swim through those since I don't have my recharge ring. Oh, oh here we go. Ghostly. Look, little pale baby. So you're gonna be ghostly. Wow. Oh my gosh. So cute. They do look really pale. I'm gonna take you with me and clean you up. Let's take some other bits because there are some materials in here actually. Very useful. Pearl berries. There's lots of different kinds of fruit that you can find in the game. So there's the, well, there you go, the berries. They're native to the Guppy Campus. The Goddle Grotto is now also on the map. So you can see the kind of native fruit that's inside there. Quite a few options. Remy Golf has the passion figs. Um, and then, oh, wow, that is amazing. Let's go back to that. Ooh. Uh, that is awesome. So this is, so you can also see by clicking on things, the, uh, how clean it is, what kind of contaminants are left. But there's also the global track of you, which shows you the entire map of Gup 14, but what's actually around. So how much litter we've got, how much goop we've got, how many bits of microplastics there are. That is amazing. 41,000. We have a lot of microplastics to clean up. 6,333 goop. 421 contaminants. Well, we have an egg somewhere. Got 68 out of 95 loddles. One of them has laid an egg. Ooh, we need to go and find that. I think that might be in Tangle Bay. you actually can uh, get the loddles to have babies that become the new variants as well based on a few different requirements here we go we have our three little variants now to make them happy oh another feature that i know you guys love and it's one of my favorite features of the game Let's give Radiant a little hug. <laughs> Look at this! Oh my gosh! Hugging the Loddle variants is the best thing I have done all day today. This is making my whole week and it makes them really happy as well. Because uh, you can see in the status, their mood. I know you're hungry, Shiny. I know. I know. I will get you some food. Would you like a hug? My sweet little babies, they're gonna come with me. I want them to come with me on my little travels. I love them so much. I don't wanna lead them, leave them to be hungry, but I also want to see what, what happens when I give them like crispy cookies and stuff. The crystal, the crystal fruit, crystal crisp cookies. So if I, if I feed them other stuff, then they'll evolve into like jumbo loddles, etc. Um, from like so you can see from the Loddlepedia update, like the butterfly loddles, octo loddles, puffer loddles. I don't want them to turn into like one of those. 
So as much as I really just want to feed them anything I've got because I don't want them to be hungry, I also want to feed them specific stuff. I am the worst loddle parent. Uh, let's go. I keep leaving the cave and then realizing what it is that I'm intending to do and then they're having to go back to the cave. We need the fast travel. And you fast travel from your ship. So in here. So we're gonna go. I think the egg might be at Tangle Bay. Let's have a look at the world map. Eggs one. Are you here? Because I feel like a, all, a lot of my other biomes are quite full. We have a new ladle. Hi. It's another jumbo. Oh god, this, this whole biome is just going to be full of jumbo ladles. Look at them. Jumbo, 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 jumbo. So many jumbo ladles. I love them. Hi. None of these guys have names. Oh, you're goopy. Don't be goopy. I don't have my recharge ring. You? You are following me. Okay, cool. Where is the egg? I don't know which biome you're in. Oops. Wrong button. Oops. I literally oh and you can you can turn off as well uh so if you just want to see where the goop is you can turn off microplastics and litter you can have them all on at the same time or you can narrow it down to just the exact kind of thing you're looking for so exit global track of view eggs zero 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 oh it's at ripple reef aha i thought you'd be at tangled bay to go on egg waiting for us and ripple reef. Are any of my biomes actually full? One of ten, three of ten, fifteen of fifteen, so grimy gobs full. Got some flats is full. I think I oh Tango Bay is actually very nearly full. I did let some of my loddles go to make room to try and get new loddles. Of the new variants and I've never let a lardo go before and it was the most heartbreaking thing I've ever had to do <laughs> it's so sad right so we've cleaned this this lardo now another lardo that's gonna live here come here look at him I'm just making this into the uh, the place where they all live why not? I know Dave wouldn't approve the the um, the guy that talks to you uh, when you start the game and does like the tutorial for you and things and speaks to you about what the Luddles are. Um, he wouldn't approve because he's not a huge fan of the Luddles. How very dare. But I don't care Dave, they're all living in my home cove. Dave's like, as long as they don't interact, interfere with your work, they're very much interfering with my work of cleaning up the ocean. I have too many children now, but do I care? Go away, Dave. Uh, who doesn't love the Loddles? It was Ripple Reef. So let's go to Ripple Reef and check on this egg. Unless I've took too long. Egg zero. Oh no, I took too long. Yeah, it was Ripple Reef, but the baby has hatched. Are you the new baby? Excuse me, are you the new baby? Oh, we missed it hatching. Oh, goodness me. This is where the eggs go. I reckon it was that one. Stop, you're making me so sad, Squish. That must be our new baby Loddle. Hi. I was hoping it would be one of the the variants. I want us to get an egg in Tangle Bay. 
Oh, actually, I think there's a Loddle in my home cove. That might be able to have a baby. That's a variant. Where are you? Wiggle! Come with me. Can you come with me? Or have I got too many of you? Yeah, too many of us. Okay, someone needs to stay behind. Goodness me. Organized chaos. Don't swim back through the goop. Okay. Bring them here. Onion, you're gonna stay here. Wiggle! There you are. Come here, Wiggle. I don't know if Wiggle will have a baby anytime soon. But let's see. I think they originally came from Tangle Bay. Um, I'm looking for a sort of emptier biome. Hmm. So there's only there's, there's obviously three in the Goddle Grotto because there's the Goddles. That's not 100% clean. I mean, none of the areas are now, but I don't want to put them over there. Let's take them back to Tangle Bay. And see if they have a baby. Hey, Wiggle. Oops. Let's actually go in first. Hey, Wiggle. Oh. There you go. You have to make sure you're far enough in <laughs> for it to register that you're inside the bio. But Wiggle may now, at some point, have a baby that may become one of the variants. We just don't know yet. But look how many of them are jumbos. I love these little guys. None of them probably have names. I need to get around to naming them all and cleaning the ocean. Please clean your oceans. Goodness me. This I love that um, the eggs are in here. It kind of seems like a little nursery. Because they're inside this little cove bit. I think that's so sweet. I think they want to stay here. That's why it's coming up with that. Squish, do you? No, 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 because I want a baby to be here, don't I? And there's already 14 out of 15 models here. So we don't want to put Squish here. It's so dark in here. I love it. Look at these precious babies. Wow. Oh, wow. Look how glowy. Oh, my gosh. Look how glowy Radiant is now. Oh, my gosh. That's so cool. You're, like, glowing in the dark, Radiant. You're so cute. Wow. You can see them doing their little pulses. Oh, I know, babies. You're going to get filthy in here. Hi. You might be my favorite. This literally reminds me of a baby's bonnet so much. So, so cute. Look at these little babies I've got with me. Look at them. I, they're all gonna get contaminated. I wanted to show them the goggles. Okay. Oh, Ooh, that should raise their happiness. Even though they're all about to be contaminated. They're so pretty. Hi. Hi. So yeah, we had the uh, the one on the left that has the pollinating ability, and the one in the middle that uh, gives you refills your oxygen, and then the one on the right, um, the one on the right makes uh, boosts your overdrive meter, which you can't see right now, but your boost meter in the bottom right corner with their pulses when they do that pulse thing. So this is the new Crystal Crisps fruit. Oh, Shiny was the first to go. Shiny has gotten gooped up. <laughs> Goodness me. I'm sorry, Mama is collecting fruit. It's so pretty. I love that it's pink as well. 
Oh no, I think we've lost. Oh no, we've lost Ghostly as well. Cheer up, babies. Oh, can we get the Godel to do it at the same time? Tune. <laughs> It sounds like you're playing like a musical instrument with them when they make their noises. Ba, ba, ba. Wow. It's so cool. That's so cool. I oh. I hope you've enjoyed the Goddles update that I have showed you and that you can't wait to play it yourselves it's available oh there we go the pulse that refilled my oxygen and raised their happiness it is available now on the goddess update is available on nintendo switch and on steam so lot of Nor is now available with all updates on both steam and nintendo switch which is crazy to me that it's on nintendo switch that is amazing I always thought this game would be perfect on Switch, and now you can do it and take your goddles on the go with you when you feel like doing some cozy ocean cleanup. Take these little babies on your Switch with you. Yes, looks like I'm forming a cult. <laughs> little army of babies. But I hope you've enjoyed the update. Don't forget to check it out for yourself. So you've got these amazing goddles that are in here. There's the new fruit, the crystal crisps i love the names of that and you can make the new crystal cookies as well to feed to your loddles um that your, your loddles can also give birth to um to the variants as well so of course we've got the radiant variant which is very radiant the shiny one which has metallic sort of sheen and the ghostly one which is like a very pale little baby i love them I, love, I get so distracted. I love them. I love them so much. Uh, but your loddles can give birth to babies that are also of those variants. So I hope you have fun doing that as well. Filling out your Loddlepedia, because I still need to do that. Very much so. And exploring the lost Loddle Caves to get these little tiny babies that I've got with me now. And exploring the Goddle Grotto. And the lost Loddle Caves. It's so exciting and doing a little bit of cheeky gardening as well because why not i love the little gardening aspect part of this we can grow the fruit that you want because i know i always want a lot of the passion figs and the the lily bananas so now i can grow them by cleaning the plants um so when you clean plants you'll sometimes get seedlings so you can do that and do some gardening because there's some gardening spots in each of the biomes as well and i hope you enjoy yourselves in the new update check it out for yourselves and i will see you very very soon in the next one take care of yourselves and i hope you enjoy yourselves until i see you next good luck and have fun